Yellowstone supervolcano. Fearing the end of the world eruption, scientists are closely monitoring to predict such an event. We've had quake swarms recently in Yellowstone, even around Yellowstone, north and south, even unusual places such as southwest Utah, Colorado, and we've re recently found that Colorado has a huge volcanic field. It was a some kind of a super volcano because the Great Sand Dunes Reserve was actually a huge volcanic lake. Anyway, uh, recently we've had more revelation concerning Yellowstone. For example, we know that it is two and a half times bigger than originally thought, reaching all the way down to Mexico, California, and by radius up to north to Canada. And we also found that it erupts much more frequently than uh, previously thought. And that has been revealed by rock examination, rock clocks, the argon argon testing. And you'll find those in the previous videos to this one. And we also uh, have updates from USGS and the Caldera Chronicles. And they're saying that the magma underneath Yellowstone is actually a hot spot. It's melting the Earth's crust, and Yellowstone is actually a hot spot. For example, as we saw recently in Kilauea last spring. So they are monitoring as closely as they can, and scientists from around the world are getting together to have a better look and study, hopefully predicting any such a cataclysmic event and potentially, life as we know it would end event, the eruption of Yellowstone supervolcano and other massive volcanoes similar to it on the planet. So their aim is to gather pertinent information about the emissions of volcanoes all around the globe in order to understand and predict any coming eruption. Perhaps buying humanity enough time to thwart the eruption itself or catastrophic effect, the effects. Now, there have been reports saying that NASA had ideas of tapping the uh, Yellowstone volcano or cooling it or uh, even uh, nuking it. Various ideas have been uh, floating around lately. But uh, who knows if that would ever work. The danger is that they could uh, hasten any type of an eruption from the supervolcano. It was reported that the global network of researchers was being established to create a worldwide monitoring system for large and supervolcanoes like Yellowstone and active volcanoes worldwide. Now we know that supervolcanoes don't act like regular volcanoes. The monitoring systems would not only study emissions, they would also act as early warning networks against a devastating impact of a super eruption. And they would have importance placed on the, deduction, the detection of gas emissions, especially carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. And uh, that's the pair relative to volume to each other. It's a harbinger of volcanic eruptions to come. And also, scientists say the carbon dioxide monitoring will have the added benefit of helping in the study of greenhouse gases that are contributing to, of course, global warming. Uh, the deep earth carbon degassing, or a decade for short, is an initiative and uh, it comes to give light to the growing fears of a supervolcano mega eruption bringing on a mini ice age or producing enough blacking out of, uh, by the ash, volcanic winter as we say, the uh, volcanic uh, ash clouds ejected into uh, uh, the air, the atmosphere, which would alter weather conditions on the planet. And we know that Yellowstone is just one of about 20 supervolcanoes in the world. Another one that's acting up lately is Etna. Uh, and, uh, People are looking out on the Canary Islands as well. 
that's acting up as well. Now, that's, it may not be a super volcano, but it would be devastating because it could create a tsunami across the Atlantic. So, uh, uh, the experts can do what they could do in predicting a, an impending eruption, for example, Yellowstone, or any of its sister volcanoes, is roughly a one-year notice prior to such an eruption, they say. Humanity has no actual methods of stopping these eruptions, only reacting, uh, reacting to them, and the time period is very small to prepare for what could very well be an end-of-the-world scenario. What's worse is that studies indicate that there is a 5 to 10 percent chance that a super eruption will occur during this century. 5 to 10 percent chance. The last time Yellowstone supervolcano, which is the largest supervolcano on Earth, would, from what they think, the last time it erupted was uh, about well, 1.3 million years ago, spewing out a decimated 22 million kilometers of ejecta. Others say also the last time was 640,000 years ago, with a smaller eruption 70,000 years ago. The head of decade is Tobias Fischer. He's a volcanologist at the University of New Mexico. And he said, we are developing autonomous monitoring stations at volcanoes around the world to measure the gases they emit. We measure carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and water vapor that steam from the geothermal activities, the major gases emitted by all volcanoes on the planet. In the hours before an eruption, we see consistent changes in the amount of carbon dioxide emitted relative to sulfur dioxide, so we keep an eye on the ratios globally via satellites and on-site monitoring helps us learn the precursors of volcanic eruptions, he said. Decades is hopeful that it will be able to triple the number of volcano monitoring stations around the planet, and still the emissions monitoring is not a definitive predictor. Another person, Martin de Moore, who works for the National University at Costa Rica, said that scientists are more and more confident that changes in the carbon to sulfur ratio precede eruptions. So he says we can now see an eruption coming just by looking at the gas emissions. As it stands, the decade monitoring system, if gas emissions can be used as eruption predictors, would be the only warning humanity would have of a world-altering eruption by a supervolcano. Now, according to um, researchers at the University of Utah, they discovered that one of the magma chambers, a previously unseen, undetected magma chamber underneath Yellowstone National Park, expanded the supervolcano size two and a half times what it was thought to be. The new data indicated that just that single magma chamber, which oddly enough was the supervolcano's topmost chamber, held enough magma to fill the Grand Canyon 14 times. And there's always more information coming out on Yellowstone. And we have uh, new geothermal vents coming up through the Yellowstone Lake. And uh, upcoming, I'll be, I will be reporting, making a video on the latest notification by the USGS from their weekly Caldera Chronicles. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. 
Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.